Beijing Foreign Studies University, a microcosm of Europe in China. It's the only university in China where all 24 official languages of the 28 EU member states are taught. The opening ceremony of the European Languages and Culture Festival sees EU dignitaries united by carols of the Beijing Foreign Studies University Choir. On behalf of Beijing Foreign Studies University, I'd like to extend my warmest welcome to all the guests here to witness the opening ceremony of the European Languages and Culture Festival and the China EU Friendship Garden. The China EU Friendship Garden is no ordinary garden. Designed by Budcut Studio, in this 400 square meter space, 28 ginkgo biloba trees are carefully planted around intricately landscaped fauna. Ginkgo biloba trees are known to be resilient and can have a lifespan of up to 2,500 years. These 28 ginkgo trees, representing the 28 member states of the European Union, will thus no doubt augur well for longevity of friendship between China and EU. The ambassador of the European Union to China has already witnessed the role culture has played in invigorating the relationship between China and EU member states. Culture is something which is part of the European identity. At the same time, I think culture is also an expression of our diversity. So there are many cultural activities of all member states, and we also try to supplement this by creating more and more also a European cultural identity. So we have quite a few initiatives, and I think what we are celebrating here today to have this cultural festival of EU cultures and languages at Beiwa is a wonderful initiative. Beijing Foreign Studies University, or Beiwa as it's known in China, offers a curriculum with the most number of European languages in the country. In fact, the university is often dubbed the School of Ambassadors, with many graduates go on to work in the foreign ministry. At the European Culture Carnival, BFSU students are already mobilizing their linguistic, culinary, and diplomatic mights to promote their language and culture to the public. One of the highlights of the festival is its retrospective photo exhibition. It chronicles not only the key moments in the relations between China and the EU, but also how Beijing Foreign Studies University has played a key role in shaping those relations. These 200 precious photographs narrate important chapters in the history between China and the EU, from business and trade to culture, over the past 40 years. And these reflections of past achievements will no doubt also be a roadmap for the future. Julian Wakan, CCTV.